Hey, what's up YouTube? So here I am in Ray's Image at Emulation Station and I wanted to do a video on getting the new Nintendo DS emulator up and running, getting some ROMs on there and giving it a test run. So uh, I'm in the Emulation Station. You don't have to have Ray's Image. If you're interested, I'm sure there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, but even any image you have, you're just going to do this the same way. As long as you're in Emulation Station, you're going to go to that RetroPie menu, RetroPie Setup, go down to P. Uh, once you're in RetroPie Setup, which is Manage Packages, go down to Experimental Package, the last one, EXP. And it's actually the first one here, 110 Drastic. It's an NDSMU Drastic. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then install from source. Now, in order to install from source, you need to be connected to the internet. So please make sure you're either connected via the network cable into your Pi or you're connected via Wi Fi, which should um, get me back into the, should populate the games you just transferred over over the network. All right, the moment of truth. There it is. So now we have Nintendo DS, three games. We have the, uh, and these are the folders I made. So I put the English game in there, Pokemon Conquest in there, Super Mario Bros. in there. Uh, let's try Super Mario. I want to go and press A just to get into the settings really quick, make sure it's so 1920 by 1080. My emulator is drastic. Let's launch it. Uh oh, that's cool. Controllers working just fine. Options. I mean, this is run. Just so you know, the actual like lagginess of this is perfect. Like, there's no lag whatsoever. Can I punch in this game? I guess not. This game's really pretty. I mean, it's a little grainy. I don't know if you guys can see that. What the? Is it, what? Am I? You know, honestly, guys, this is my first time playing this game. This is fucking freaking nuts. Can I stop that? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought I missed. Is that poison? That's good. Does that look like it should be poisonous? Oh, and you can hold it in this game. You don't. You can't just. Uh... And he chucks it. Do you have to get like a running start for this? What balls? Huh. Interesting that the, the controls are the, your triggers at the top of your controller actually hit start. How'd you get that? Can you? Oh, that's like your progress. <sighs> I hit the top. So this is playing really good, like no issues at all. This pie is loving this. Ah, uh, okay. So I was like, oh man, I can't exit out of this game. So it seems that to exit out of um, of your Nintendo DS, you need a, the keyboard is escape. So it looks like you might need a keyboard. Pokemon Conquest. 
Preparing to start game, do not turn up the power or touch the game card. Please wait. default to yes, not no. I, I, I hope they, they figured out by now that people do not want to sit through a huge story just to get into the gameplay. Like the Pokemons for, for the original Game Boy Color and Game Boy are ridiculous. Okay, I don't care. Come at me. That's pretty cool that hopefully I'm within a battle within a minute. Now's the time! You have to fight! Eevee! Quick attack! Man, that Eevee effed you up! Not as strong as you. You keep flexing at me. Alright! We're doing it! Okay, so I just added a couple more games, um, trying to add them different ways so you can see how it'll look. And uh, you saw that I did it in folders already. So this time I just extracted it. I just dumped them on there. So if you just dump the .nds file, the ROM file, it looks something like this, no matter what the ROM is, and then you can just click into it. If you make the folders like I did before, you'd have to click into the folder and then you'll get it like that. And then, uh, if you're using the emulation station where you want to do like artwork and their text and stuff, this emulation station isn't set up like that right now. But you would probably want to set it up this way without the folders, just because um, you could do the artwork and stuff with this way. And then if you just drag the whole zip file into your uh, ROMs folder, it will not work because these are highly compressed files. For example, the Mario file is 84 megabytes when you download it, but when you extracted it, it it's, almost, it's like 225 megabytes. So they're like two, three times bigger um, when they're compressed, when they're uncompressed. So um, I, so this is one that I didn't put in a folder, and here's ones in folders. And I just want to show you to work either way. If you do want artwork and stuff, you don't want the folders. I've never heard of this game before, but it was on the most downloaded list, so people must like it. And I'm not liking that it's upside down. Okay, so I could not figure out how the controls work on that game. You'll have to figure it out. I think you're going to have a lot of issues when it comes to games that do require like a mouse or they're sideways like that. But uh, for example, Super Mario Brothers work perfectly, no problems. So there you have it, using Nintendo DS on a Raspberry Pi 3 running emulation station. One's just fine, you just want to install the emulator and start adding your favorite games and it should just self-populate. If you want to scrape your artwork, you're going to want to run a scraper as well as drop your artwork on your, uh, in your ROMs directory. And then uh, you could just uh, should be able to, to update that automatically. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.